sorry that it's late, but it was really intense and I thought I could get it done on time and I was wrong and so it's late. I'm sorry. But it's done, it is in completion, and you will have the ability to do it if you wish to do it yourself. We still need the same things we needed last week, but now we need more things because of course we do. So for this week, on top of last week, here's what we need. The base belt that we created last week, the rest of the patterns which will be available on the blog, size 16 yellow capped snap fasteners, size 16 snap setter tool which are available from a link below, a hammer, and the rest of your yellow duck cloth. First things first, belt loops. You're going to want to cut out two of them and then fold them in half hot dog style, pin them across, then take them over to your sewing machine and sew a straight stitch down the side with a half inch seam allowance. Then take them over to your iron and open the seam flat and then iron the whole thing as flat as possible. Then trim off your extra seam allowance. Then put the seam allowances back together, bring them over to your sewing machine, and sew down the side with a zigzag stitch that goes over the edge, which will seal off the raw edges. Then flip the whole belt loop over to the right side, and sew a straight stitch down each edge as close as you can get to the edge as is possible. Then sew a zigzag stitch overlapping the two ends of the belt loop to seal off any raw edges, and your belt loops will be ready for attachment. Now, figure out where you want your belt loops to go and pin them down. Then carefully take the overhang on either end and fold them under the belt loop. Then, taking a needle and thread, carefully hand sew the overhang onto the belt loops. Repeat that for all the belt loops you want. Onto the pockets. First things first, take all of your pocket body parts and sew a zigzag stitch over the edges to seal them away. Then, take it over to your iron and sew a half inch up on all three of the sticking out sides. It should look like this. Keeping that half inch fold in place, fold one inch up on each of the three sides. You're gonna have to do this one at a time because the folds will mess each other up. Just make sure you keep all the creases. Then, keeping the creases and the half inch and one inch fold in place, fold the half inch back, making an accordion fold on the three sides. Iron this thoroughly to keep all the creases and to make sure it's really in place. And don't forget the bottom. Open up all your folds and fold a half inch down on the top and then fold it over one more time to completely encase those edges. Pin down and sew with a straight stitch. Now to those notched corners, fold them diagonally so the two notched edges meet together. Let's do it again for good measure and because you have two corners. Fold them diagonally so the two notched edges meet together and then pin them down so they don't go anywhere. In the crease, sew a straight stitch down to permanently attach them together. I marked it with a pen just to make sure I knew where I was going, so feel free. Then, clip off a lot of the excess. Leave some, though, and do that for both corners. Then, sew a zigzag over the two raw edges you've now created. Now, poke the corners until they stand up nice and straight. Make sure all your creases are still nice and crisp, and pin down all the extensions to the top of the pocket, leaving the corners free roaming. Then, using a zipper foot, sew a top stitch all the way around the edge of the pocket, leaving the corners open so you're going to have to stop at each corner and restart again. Taking the flaps of your pockets, sew them together with a half inch seam allowance, leaving the bottom open, and then trim the edges so that those corners can be poked out nice and crisp. Iron it flat and sew a straight stitch a quarter of an inch away all the way around the edge and zigzag the bottom shut. For the large pocket, you have a strap holder that you're going to fold in half and sew down with a half inch seam allowance, hot dog style. Sew the straps to their duplicates and leave the bottoms open and trim off the excess. Turn all parts right side out and then iron the crap out of them so that they are nice and flat and crisp. For the large pocket straps, go ahead and fold them inside of themselves with a half inch or so. For the small ones, you're actually just going to want to sew a zigzag over the end to seal the raw edges. For the flaps, fold a half inch down, iron the crap out of it, and then fold a whole inch down, keeping the half inch in place, ironing that. Using a zipper foot, sew a straight stitch down the one inch fold as close to the edge as you possibly can. Using a zigzag stitch, attach the flap to the yoke for the big pocket or to the backs for the small pocket, being careful to line up the tops. Seal the raw edges of your strap holder with a zigzag stitch over the raw edges and then figure out where you want it to go, putting a straight stitch on either side to seal it in place. 
Time to add the hardware. Take the yellow caps and push it through each of the straps, making sure the prongs stick through on the other side and that they're where you want them to go. Then place that into the snap tool and place the second piece of the snap tool over it. Then carefully add the female part of the snap over the prongs, making sure none are poking around it or through it. Then add the third part of the snap tool and take a hammer to it to work out some of that repressed aggression we all know you have. It's okay. We don't blame you. Check the placement on everything before repeating the same steps on the pocket, but using the male part of the snap tool instead. For the large pocket, it's time to attach the pocket body to the yoke. Carefully line up all the sides and be careful, this is fidgety and it is kind of exact, so use as many pins as you feel like you need and take your time when doing this. Then take it over to your sewing machine and using a zipper foot get as close to the edge as you can and sew a straight stitch down each of the edges. Just like with the top, you're not going to be able to sew around those corners. You're going to approach the corner, stop, take the whole thing out and then start again on the other side. Make sure you like the placement of the strap and then sew it down with a straight stitch across the top so it looks nice and clean like this. Now another change between the small pockets and the large pocket besides the strap holder is that you're going to actually attach the small pocket backs with the flap onto the belt before you attach the pocket body. Now check the placement here, make sure you like it. I put mine about a finger's width away from the end of the belt and then about two finger lengths away from the other pocket. I also added the snaps to my belt and to my leg holster, but as soon as you do all of those steps, you are done and it looks awesome and amazing and you can go kick butt as much as you like or just make a lot of silly poses, that's, that's also okay.